It is Tim Bigham back again. Uh, another week of what I'm calling the Paula Abdul straight up market. Certainly uh, no let up in this market with the S&Ps firmly above that uh, 142 level on the SPY today. So uh, since the unemployment report, interesting to note the E-mini has had 11 out of 13 up days and the two down days were by 0.75, so less than a point and 1.25, so just a little bit more than a point. So on average, the two down days, really not big down days at all, kind of flat. So this market just keeps wanting to go straight up uh, with no pullback. Uh, gives me as a trader a little bit pause for concern anytime the direction and sentiment uh, seems to be so unanimous. Usually there's uh, maybe a pullback along the way. We'll wait and see. We continue to hold our long September SPY puts hedging by selling some front month August weekly puts against it to defray some of that cost there. So until further notice, we'll remain somewhat bearish, although cautiously so, and just waiting for that inevitable, what we deem to be pullback along the road here. Interesting on Apple as well, certainly has been the poster child of the momentum rally since earnings. Uh, Apple up about 17% last I looked. Lest we not forget, Apple did miss on earnings on both the top and bottom line. Revenues and earnings both coming in, you know, well below expectations. Since then, we've virtually been straight up on Apple as well. And we're seeing a very unusual occurrence in the options market, which is the option smirk, which is the relationship between out of the money calls and similarly percentage out of the money puts. Normally the puts will trade at a higher implied volatility than the calls simply because people are looking for protection. Uh, that smirk has now shifted where the out of the money calls are trading at a higher level of implied volatility than the puts. Rare occurrence, uh, we saw it in Apple back in March when we went hyperbolic on the stock as well. Kind of signaled a short term uh, top in the stock. Stock was around 605 at that time. You know, we're uh, back uh, breaking through that level here. But I'm very cautious on Apple. I'm actually selling some out of the money call spreads on the weeklies that expire this Friday, selling the 700 strike buying the 705 for protection, collecting about 50 cent premium. We'd need Apple uh, to have another 5% add-on rally from these levels here to get in trouble. Also, I am looking to add some put calendar spreads on Apple, buying the 650 puts out in September, selling again the weekly 650s, uh, looking for a pullback somewhere along the way in Apple. I just think a stock that has been up this much uh, for this extended a period of time and is so well loved, when it does start to fall, maybe sharp, and I'm looking to maybe capture that. If not, I'm buying some historically very cheap implied volatility. So this market just does not want to go down. You have to respect that. But as a trader, it also feels a little bit, uh, to use a technical term, weird up here. So I'm taking advantage of some cheap implied vol and protecting by buying some puts. Until next week, this is Tim. Again, position size accordingly and have your stops in place. Thanks.